Hello and welcome back to the channel with me, the Orienteering Kid, where today we're in Pozuelo de Alarcon for round two of the B category for Taurus Season 3. Yes, we're here to look at the second event for the B category in this season of the Taurus Cup, a month-long series organised by course setters from all around the world and can be found here on the Tempo Simulator, the link to which can be found in the description of this video. Now, this event happened yesterday, but obviously I compete in the A category, so we can only look at it today. And it was planned by JP Valente with George and Libor advising, and I am really excited to see what he has planned for today's event. I've competed in a few of his events before, two of which have been Taurus events, and I have really enjoyed them and found them a lot of fun but there have been some very interesting tricks within the stations so yeah this should be good fun but let's just jump straight into it now going to the B section of Taurus Season 3 and going to Event 2 which for this event was a 1 to 4000 map with 2.5 metre contours and it was mapped between January and February 2021 so it is a very recent map we have 8 stations with a penalty of 30 seconds for every wrong answer there is a 4 metre zero tolerance with no exceptions and there are no side or in out out tasks which does mean for an answer to be a zero it has to be more than four meters away from any of the other controls and zeros are very clear it is a park and urban terrain and it is going to be digitally imposed flags with appropriate sizing according to distance with yellow markers above every flag that's just going to be helpful pointing out all the kites and will also potentially help us label all the kites and station three has some long range flags so they're going to be slightly bigger I don't think that's a problem as long as we can see them and we know about that it should make it a lot easier as as always my answers will be appearing in the top right hand corner of the screen so you can see exactly what I'm putting correct or wrong with the black and red letters at the moment that I do and yeah with that let's have a go at this second round from the B category for Taurus season 3 as we load and we start slow because that's what you normally get in the competitions and we go into station 1 okay um, load of walls that's really going to be it with the pay the area on that side um, we're going between the two walls so that's definitely Echo with that junction being Charlie that area over there is going to be Foxtrot there's nothing on the end of that wall and that thicket is going to be Delta and that was a really nice first station it was clear exactly where we were with the wall shapes and those appeared straight away on the map and things fitted quite nicely with Echo between the two walls although the control description said end of one of the walls but the circle was clearly between the two and then we came forward to Charlie off to the right hand side for Foxtrot on the open land which then made us lose concentration on the main area with all the kites going into the zero for task four but I'm fairly confident that was a zero to then go to the thicket of delta for the fifth task so that was a good station that was quite a nice opening station but we will now move straight on to station two okay it looks like a different view of that area potentially more walls with the um, monument okay that is the monument first tree is alpha um, I can believe that's going to be Charlie uh, that wall end is Bravo second tree is a zero with that junction being foxtrot and that again was another good station it looked like a different angle of the walls from what we had before but it was a slightly different area the key thing to help me place there was the monumenty thing right in the front of the photo and then that took us straight to the first task being the first tree away from that and alpha and everything was fairly clear there changing between the foreground and the background was very good and i do think there was only one zero being the fourth task on the wrong tree so yeah that was another good station but we do move now to station three which was the station which does have the long range kite so we've got to keep that in mind as we move on to station three okay yeah i can see why the long range kites but fox drops right in front of us and alpha as well um all the buildings that's the wrong building that's the tree um second building that corner is charlie um, fourth building round is going to be Echo and that's the wrong path. So that was another good station. The use of the buildings round the left hand side was very good and I think it was clear that the first one was a zero on the wrong building as it was the closest building to us on the map and all the kites were on the second, third and fourth buildings. I also like the fact that Alpha and Foxtrot were right in front of us and so when we were focusing on the long range tasks we might have lost completely the positions that we thought the two kites were in but I was confident that Foxtrot was on the right tree. It was just alpha being on the wrong path at the end but those were clear and i did like that station a lot it changed up from the first two stations so we will see whether this sort of station does continue as we move on to station four 
Okay, um, two or well, three trees right in front of us with two controls between them. The two ramps. Um, those are the three trees. That area is alpha. Um, canopy. Is that the wrong side of the canopy? Oh, I'm going to believe that. Um, paved area is delta. Coming to the trees, we want the Charlie. And end of the fences is going to be Echo. And that was another good station. There was one that I'm doubting a lot because I didn't actually put any zeros in that station. And that is the fox drop being the wrong end of the canopy. But I'm going to have to believe it as I think it was unclear which edge of the canopy fox drop was on. And so I just had to believe it was in the right place. But yeah, I do think that was a no zero station. The three trees being right in front of us helped me to anchor, bringing me to Alpha for the first task on the patch of trees behind it. And then we obviously had the decision between between Bravo and Charlie for the fourth task with the third and fifth going with Delta and Echo. So I am happy with that station again. We are just passing the halfway point now as we move on to station five. Okay, the X in the paths is going to be here in the triangles of open land. Um, that's the X. So that's going to be Charlie with that corner being Delta. That's the wrong corner. That is the wrong place as well. And that's going to be Echo. And I probably could have done that a lot quicker. I was just hesitating on the last task a bit, but I think that one was clear as echo. And I do think that was a good station again. The two zeros being the third and fourth ones. The fourth one was definitely a lot clearer than the third one with it being behind us or where we stood actually, I think, if I didn't rush into that too quickly. But the third one being on the second triangle to the right of us and Fox Rock being on the first one, I think that was also clear as a zero. And the other three tasks did come together quite nicely. So I'm happy with that one again. These stations are very varied in their style but we will now go on to the next station of the day which is station six okay uh, wall with Bravo and Charlie with another wall of Delta the corners and the stairs um, those are the two stairs so that's the wrong wall um, that's going to be Alpha with Charlie on the end of the wall there's nothing in there and Fox Trot's there. And that again was another good station. Spotting the Bravo Charlie Delta walls made it clear for the first task to me that it was a zero, as the wall we actually wanted was the other side of the canopy next to Delta. So that worked quite nicely. And then we came forward to Alpha at the foot of the stairs by the fence, over to Charlie on the end of the wall. But then we came to the building that was within the fence for the fourth task. And I think it was clear that there was no kite on that building. So that was another clear zero to then move to Fox Trot for the final task again at the foot of the stairs, but the other side of the stairs this time and that was another good station i think that challenged again another technical part of orienteering but we will now move to the penultimate station of the day which is station seven okay stairs with the walls um canopy that looks at the back of the building um that corner is going to be echo with that corner being alpha that is in the right corner um stairs I think that's Charlie and there's nothing on those stairs. And that was quite an interesting station actually with the staircase coming round, but we started with Echo on the corner of the building and it did take me a small second to try and work out whether that was the right building or not because I hadn't quite noticed the stairs on the map to start with, but I think that was clear that was starting with Echo, then going to Alpha for the second task into the canopy of Foxtrot. And then I think we had the choice between Charlie and Delta for the fourth task about which set of stairs we wanted to be at the top of, but I think that was clear as Charlie before moving to a staircase behind the walls that we couldn't see to end with a zero for the final task and that was again another interesting station but we'll now move to the final station of the day which is station eight okay um this big area stairs by over by delta with echo and fox Trot there stairs top of stairs i think that's got to be delta um there's nothing on the water back there is fox trot with alpha on that one and there's nothing over there and we can see our answers because this event did happen yesterday but you will be able to see if i zoom out that i did complete that with no mistakes and a time of 112 seconds so i'm very happy with that but let's go and have a look at these answers just to show you what i was thinking and the first one when we saw the photo this was going to be the clear anchor point here with bravo on the end of the left hand spike at the v so we've obviously got an area of walls but that's the key bit so when we came into the map and i saw this v 
shape I thought that was very clear as being the V shape with Bravo on it and everything else seems to fit there we've also got the open land to the right hand side which Foxtrot is on the corner of and we want the two walls between the V shape and the thick wall on the other side of the path so the V shape thick wall we've got two walls there and the control description shows us we want the southeastern wall and we want the western end of it and so looking here the southeastern is going to be the top one in the map so the one furthest away from us and on the western end of that is definitely Echo so I was happy to start with Echo for that one before then moving west of the V shape to the open land with the corner of the wall here and going west of the V shape we come down to the corner of Charlie so I was very happy to say that one was Charlie for the second task before going out to the open land which we've said that Foxtrot is in that small corner of which is also the northeastern part of it so I was happy to say that one again was Foxtrot and then we came to the V shape which we had said Bravo is on one end of but we want the other end of it being the right hand one with Bravo on the left hand one that puts the location there there are no kites there and that one is definitely a zero to then go to the bush just behind the V shape wanting the southeastern tip of it and this is definitely the thicket the southeastern tip is going to be where Delta is and that puts Delta as the answer to the final task in this station and I do think this was a nice station to open up on there was a clear anchor the tasks weren't too hard and I think for a B course especially that was a nice station to start with and then coming to station two we still had the walls but we did have a different part of the walls and to me the key thing to notice here was this sculpture sort of thing is going to be the black circle with the dot in it just outside the control circle so we could place ourselves very nicely there spotting that with the walls that seem to go in about the correct shape all around here so going from this monument we're going up the map or up the photo and we want the first tree we reach and so going from the monument we go up and we can see that there is a tree there we want the eastern side of that tree and with north going to the right hand side east is going to be towards us which does put alpha on the eastern side of that tree and I was very happy to say that was alpha to start us off but then this second task made me think for a bit longer as we want the eastern inside corner of some open land and looking at the walls and where we were for the first task we are going over the walls into this area across a path and there are going to be two trees to the right hand side of it now there are lots of trees back there but this is a load of white woodland the two distinctive trees are going to be the one that echo is on and the one behind it so looking at those two trees we're going to the left hand side to this area of open land which has got a bit of boundary around it and the eastern corner is going to be the furthest one away from us which does put us as Charlie there so I was happy to say that one was Charlie even though it did take me a small bit to think about that but then we come back to the walls and we want the middle wall here and the eastern end of that wall and it's the middle one in this set of three which is these three here the middle one is this one and Bravo is definitely on the eastern end of it so that puts the answer to the third task as Bravo before going out to the two distinctive trees trees and we want the northern one of the two and the southern side of it but I said before that these two that you can see in the circle there are the distinctive trees and we want the northern one but echoes on the southern one of the two so that definitely puts it on the wrong tree and therefore this one is a zero and then finally we move back into the foreground we want the southeastern inside corner of a wall and it's going to have a tree just to the right hand side of it you can see that tree here we go slightly to the left and Foxtrot does seem to be in that corner so I was happy to end that station on Fox trot and again I think this was a nice second station to keep easing us into it they did get slightly hard as I went on but I don't think that's a problem with it being a B course we want it to be slightly nicer to open us in but then we moved on to station three and this is where we had the long range kites but they did have to be bigger to help us see the area and for this first task we want the northern outside corner of a building and looking at it is going to be the first building that we can see as I believe we are stood up here looking out over the road but the first building we can see is this one at the left hand side of the photo and there are no kites at the bottom of that so that one is definitely going to be a zero as Bravo and Charlie are going to be on this next building along this does work out quite nicely with this junction of paths as well you can see there but then we come forward and we had to check whether this one was going to be Foxtrot or not as it is definitely the other side of this fence coming up onto the rough open land but you can see from the tree there is going to be a junction of fences and that does seem to be what is there also with the staircase just there as well that all seems to fit really nicely and so I was happy to say that one was Foxtrot on the northeastern side of that tree for the second task and then we go out to the second building and it's the building just before the paved area and we want the northwestern outside corner of this building so the second building is going to be the one with Bravo and Charlie on it but Bravo is on the northeastern outside corner and Charlie's on the northwestern outside corner so that definitely put this one as Charlie there before then going to the fourth building round and we want the eastern outside corner so going from this building being the second one Delta's on the third one and Echo's on the fourth one is definitely on the eastern side of that building so that was nice as an echo however I do want to point out here that our standing
shooting location isn't actually on the map, so this technically isn't allowed. However, I do think it was made clear from the first three tasks exactly where we are, and so I don't have too much of a problem with that. But we then move to the final task in which we wanted the northeastern patch of paved area, and really, if we're coming right forward in front of the first building, Alpha is going to be the only option of a kite. However, we want the northeastern patch of paved area, and you can see here there is a paved area of Alpha, but there's also a paved area running between Alpha and Foxtrot, and with North going to the right, the northeastern is going to be the one closest to us to the right as well, which is going to be this one here, and so I want the kite to be there rather than where Alpha is, and that one is a nice zero to finish off the station. So I do think this did get slightly harder in station three, especially that last zero, so well done if you did manage to get that one right. And then going into station four, we did change again, as here we wanted the northern part of a copse, but how are we going to place that copse? Well, there's a few different things here. Firstly, I saw Bravo and Charlie in a triangle of three trees, and that does seem to be these three trees down here. You then look further to the right, and you can see Delta and Echo in this paved area, with Foxtrot under the canopy of this building, and then we go off to the left-hand side, and there are some trees here. They could be part of a white woodland. It is quite hard to see on the map, but it is definitely there, and the northern part of that woodland is going to be Alpha. So that one was definitely good there as Alpha to start us off. The one I was questioning in this station was the second task, and here we want the southwestern edge of the canopy, and I think this is a lot clearer now looking at it, because originally I was looking at southwest and thinking it was going to be the edge closest to us, but actually the southwest, knowing which way north is, is going to be the left-hand side of the canopy, which is definitely going to be Foxtrot there, so well done if you did manage to notice that, I think that is a lot clearer. But yeah, that one is definitely Foxtrot before we then go to the northern inside corner of some paved area coming from the canopy, and if you come down from the canopy, Echo's on the wrong side of the paved area, but Delta's definitely on the northern inside corner that we want, and so that one is Delta there. Before we then come forward to the patch of three trees we wanted, and we want the northeastern between two trees. So there are three in the circle, but the northeastern is going to be the rightmost one, and looking here, Charlie is more right than Bravo, so it's not going to be Bravo, and the right between two trees is going to be the Charlie one, and so Charlie is definitely the answer here. I do think that was quite a nice task there. And then finally we go to the fence, the other side of the paved area from where we're stood, and we want the southwestern end of it, and if you look over there where Echo is, it's definitely on the southwestern end of that fence, so that was a nice Echo to finish off the station. And that was quite an interesting no zero station to throw in halfway through. I think especially with me doubting my answer to the fourth task, it threw me quite a bit, but it does turn out I did get that all right, and I am very happy with that station now. But we now pass the halfway point in this event, going to station five, and this is where it did change a bit as well, but I did really like this station actually, it was very quick. What I saw here straight away was there is a cross of paved area, and there are a couple of triangles of open land within it, so when we came to the map and there was a cross of paved area with some triangles of open land within it, I was very happy to say we were in the right place. And here we want the western inside corner of some open land, and it is the western piece of open land in the circle, but it's going to be on the southwestern side of the cross, and so with north going upwards, the southwestern side is going to be this side, so this is the patch of open land, putting the western inside corner where Charlie is. So that was a nice task to open in on with that one being Charlie there. And then with the second task, we moved along the paved area running upwards in the photo, and now we wanted the western inside corner of the northwestern patch of open land in the circle, and so moving up this paved area from Charlie, we do reach Delta in a western inside corner of some open land, so that one should be Delta there. But after those two clear tasks, we then moved to two zeros, and this first one I think was very clear, moving to a southern inside corner of some open land, but looking here there are three points in the circle and we want the middle one, but coming from the paved area here, Foxtrot's going to be on the first one and the second one's going to be there, so this one is definitely a zero as it's on the wrong spike. And then coming from where Foxtrot was, we are moving slightly down to this corner of the wall, and I do think this one was again fairly clear as a zero as Alpha is going to be over here as the only option for this one, and the actual wall we want is the one just at the bottom of the photo here, so that one is definitely another zero. And then the one that made me think a lot more in this station was this fifth task, as we want to the middle patch of open land, and I hadn't quite noticed the small part of open land there, but it is definitely there, and it's definitely got Echo in it, and the western inside corner of that open land is going to be where Echo is. So that was a good task to finish off the station, and I do think this was a slightly harder station, especially with the two zeros in it, so well done if you did manage to get that one all right. And then we moved to the sixth station, which again changed it up a bit, as here we have some stairs with Alpha and Fox on, with a building that Echo's on, and then some walls with Bravo, Charlie and Delta. But when the map loads, we do want a wall, so it's either going to be Bravo, Charlie and Delta, we want the southwestern end of this wall, so the only one on the southwestern end is going to be Delta, 
but why is it a zero instead? Well, if you look at the shape of the Bravo Charlie and Delta walls, that matches these two walls here in this sort of V shape. And there is also a canopy to the right hand side of Delta, which is the canopy here, putting the wall that we actually want behind Delta and probably that turquoisey wall behind Delta there. So that one is definitely a zero as none of the kites are on the correct wall. But that was quite a hard zero to start this station with, so well done if you did get that. But then we came forward to the staircase and we want the first staircase we reach from the corner of the building and there are no staircases before this Alpha and Foxtrot staircase so it's either going to be one of the two. We want the southwestern inside corner of that staircase and that is going to be the corner on the left hand side up against the fence and it's going to be at the foot of the stairs to which Alpha is definitely on the southwestern corner by all those descriptions and that one is Alpha for the second task. And then at this point we go to the V shape of walls, we want the left hand wall so it's going to be Bravo or Charlie and we want the eastern end of that wall with Bravo being on the western end and Charlie on the eastern end so that definitely puts the answer as Charlie for the third task. And then moving to the fourth task we want the eastern end of a wall again but we want it to be within the fenced area to the left hand side of the photo that Alpha is outside of and so this one is definitely a zero as I want it within there. I think that was a very clear zero, it was definitely clearer than the first task so well done if you did manage to get that. And then finally we come to the corner of the fence that is on the same staircase that Alpha was on and we want the outside corner which is definitely where Foxtrot is on the other end of that staircase so that was definitely Foxtrot to end the station and I do think that was quite a tough station to be honest with the two zeros especially and going back and forth in the foreground and background of the photo it definitely kept us on our toes and I do really like that station and then we came to station seven which was a lot different to the previous six as really Alpha Bravo Charlie and Delta are all on staircases here and then we have Echo and Foxtrot on the upper area with Foxtrot under the canopy and Echo on the corner of the building and so here when the map loads we have a staircase on the left hand side of the circle so that is going to be the staircase that we actually want as there are no other proper staircases in the circle and so the building on the right hand side which is the corner that we want is definitely going to be the echo building as you can also see the canopy that Foxtrot is going to be under there and echo is on the outside southwestern corner of that building so I was happy to answer echo as the first task in this station before we then come to the staircase and we want the northern outside corner of a crag so this is going to be the wall to the left hand side of the staircase as you can see it runs down and we want the left hand side and there's only one corner in the wall and there's definitely a corner where alpha is so it must be on the right corner it's on the outside of the northern corner and so that's definitely alpha before we then move up to the building which had echo on it before and we want the southeastern inside corner of that canopy and looking in it could only be foxtrot and it's definitely on the southeastern inside corner of that part so it's definitely going to be foxtrot there for the third task this fourth task did take me a small while to think about though as here we want the southwestern staircase in the circle and I will say I'm not sure it is definitely the southwestern staircase in the circle because of the staircase Bravo is on as well so I think it might actually be the south one instead that might have been a better arrow but I don't think it hindered too much and we want the northeastern outside corner of that staircase and there are two kites on the northeastern outside corner of a staircase being Charlie and Delta so which one is it going to be well it's the staircase leading down to the staircase of Bravo going perpendicular to it so this is the staircase of Bravo and the first staircase we come up is going to be the staircase with Charlie on the northeastern outside corner of it. So that one's definitely going to be Charlie for the third task as I believe Delta is on the next staircase up there. And then finally we went to the middle staircase in the circle and that is because of the staircase right to the right hand side of the circle there. And we just want it on the stairs. So the only kite that is on the stairs is Bravo but we have said before it's perpendicular to the Charlie staircase and so is the one on the left hand side of the circle. Not the staircase that we actually want which is hiding behind there somewhere and this one is definitely a zero to end off the station. So as a seventh station I did think this was a harder station so I did like it a lot and I also think it was definitely a lot different to the previous six and a nice station to throw in at this point leading us into the final station of the day which again was a lot different to some of the others but here the key anchor for me was the place that we came to for the first task which was the stairs with Delta at the top of them. So once I spotted that there was obviously some garden to the left hand side with Echo and Foxtrot up on this balcony here and out Alpha on the corner of a fence right to the left hand side of the photo. We want the top of the stairs which we have already said that Delta is on the top of. It is the middle staircase. Delta is on the middle staircase. We can go with Delta there for the first task. So that was quite a nice task to open in on and I think the fact that I had anchored on Delta definitely helped me to start the station there. Before we then wanted the southern outside corner of a lake. And looking at it is going to be within four patches of outer bounds area being the garden area. So I had noticed that Bravo and Charlie were on corners of a garden area and when I zoomed in I could then see that there was a lake behind Bravo and Charlie 
and the southern corner is going to be behind this bush there so Bravo and Charlie are definitely not on it and that one is going to be a zero I do think that was quite a nice zero for the second task in this station and then we moved up to the balcony that we are stood on and we want the southern inside corner of a fence and it's either going to be echo or foxtrot but if you look at the way the fence curves here that's going to be this curve on the outside of the circle so echo is going to be on this corner and it's going to be an outside corner rather than an inside corner as we move down and we see that foxtrot is on the southern inside corner of this fence and so this one is definitely going to be foxtrot there for the third task i do think that was a nice one distracting us from the rest of the areas as we only look at echo and foxtrot especially moving to this fourth task as this could take a bit of believing that this one is alpha but it definitely is as there is only one fence here coming out the canopy that we can't see just there and there is only one fence we can see in the photo with alpha on the eastern outside corner of it so that one is definitely alpha for the penultimate task of the day to then move to the final task and for this one we want the eastern corner of a flower bed so it's definitely either going to be bravo charlie or a zero however looking at it we want it the other side of the lake that we used for the second task and so this one is definitely going to be a zero as bravo and charlie are on the near side of the lake not the far one and i want the kite to be around there and that was a nice zero to finish off the station especially with us being distracted with the third and fourth tasks i think a lot of you might have gone with charlie there and that was a very good second event in the b category i did like it a lot i think all the zeros as he said before in the zero tournaments were very clear and it was a very fair b course it started off easy got a bit harder but none of it was too challenging so i do think that was a very well set course and thank you to jp for putting that on let's go have a look at the results now and see where i would have come if i'd competed and i would have been in first by a long way to be honest almost 80 seconds ahead of the winner but i am an a competitor so that is kind of expected but it is well done to judge lee for winning the event 14 seconds ahead of till who was then one second ahead of Ziga. judge lee won the event probably at station three where he was a lot quicker than second place and that is where he gained his lead as in the next few stations till was slightly quicker than him and gaining on him so well done to judge lee for winning that and i think the most interesting thing for the percentages in this event was definitely within station eight here which had two percentages fairly low compared to the other five and we have just gone through this with the second and third tasks 214 managed to get the zero for the second task with 107 going with bravo and 13 with charlie and i think if you didn't read the center of the circle properly you would have definitely gone with bravo as it was on the southern outside corner of the flower bed rather than the lake but it was clear we were going for the lake and so that one was clearly a zero so well done if you did manage to get that and also the third task between echo and foxtrot 259 managed to get it as foxtrot but 28 did go with echo and 45 with a zero to me it was clear it was either going to be echo or foxtrot as if it was a zero it was going to be unclear that it was and foxtrot definitely seemed to be in the inside corner for me so well done if you did manage to get that one as foxtrot but actually the rest of the percentages here in this station and across the board as there were barely any below 75 percent and i don't think there were any below 50 percent were very high so very well done as that does show that many people did manage to complete today with not many mistakes at all so let's go and have a look at what this event did to the results in the b category and you can see that we have jurgily taking the lead after his win today and is now about 0.15 points ahead of Ziga in second place who is then just over a point ahead of odin so it is definitely very close at the top this b category is actually a lot closer at the moment than the a category and so this might actually be a slightly more interesting one to watch as we then have giacomo two points behind odin but 0.3 pence ahead of arvid so very well done to those five for getting in the top five at the end of the first week but remember it is your five best scores of eight so anything can really happen as some people who did very well in one of the events but not the other will probably drop one of these events at the final standing so may move back up to the top we will have to see that as we go into event three and you'll have to join me again for that video to see that outcome but that is going to be the end of today's video thank you all again for watching if you'd like to like the video as always if you enjoyed it and also subscribe to the channel making sure you hit the bell next to the subscribe button and select all so you get notified whenever i release a video and also be remembering to share these videos i do think the b category is a great place for people to start doing these events and so if you do have any orienting friends who haven't already competed on the simulator get them to try and have a go at these b events because they are slightly easier and a nice way to ease people into tempo and again as always be commenting down below any extra analysis you think i missed from this video and also any extra little things that you think might be quite nice in the video that you want me to add and i will join you again next week for round three of the b category in taurus season three